What is up YouTube? It is the Bell Outdoors here. Today is May 16th of 2020 and I'm starting off the day here at the French Creek. Kind of getting into the afternoon, late afternoon and uh, early evening bite is the plan today. So we're starting off the day at the French Creek searching for some stockies, some stocked trout. Thing is, I don't see any so far. And there's people chucking rocks in the water over there, so. Not gonna be any fish down there anymore. So I'm gonna start off right in front of me. I have seen a smallmouth bass and a red breast sunfish so far, which will go for this trout magnet that I got tied on. Yesterday I went ahead and switched up the reels on my trout rod. So now I'm running with the Daiwa Ninja 2000 LT on my trout rod instead of the Shimano Zaraka 2500. I just switched it up to the smaller reel for the um, lighter line and put the heavier line on the bigger reel. Which I should have had done that from the start, but I have, I already had the trout rod spooled up at the time. Oh, small mouth just ate it. He's not the smartest, but the pink fires him up. That's why I got the pink jig head on there and the black body sticks out in the clear water. Makes it look like a Helgramite or like a little crayfish that they would usually feed on. So that is our first fish of the day. A little smallmouth bass. Not the biggest one I've seen today, but nice little fish to start off. Now some people say a fish on your first cast is bad luck. Well, we'll just have to test that out today. Let's go ahead and get a little bit close to the water and release this guy. I don't want to scare any potential fish that could be in the area. There he is. He's just gonna go back down to those rocks where he came off of. There's some more fish down there, so I'm just gonna throw this trout magnet around. Might have to put a split shot on to get a bit deeper in the water. Those trout are, if there's any around, they're probably gonna be hanging out towards the bottom, blending in with those sucker fish because in the warm weather, they kind of hunker down and stay a little inactive, kind of. Guys, we just hooked another fish. It's not the trout that we were casting at, but it is a new species for the day. Nice little rock bass. Not a bad fish. I don't catch these too often, so I'm always happy when one shows up. We just need to get one of those trout to make this day awesome. All right, guys, we are back to fishing. I actually took a quite a long break and uh, went home for a while, ate some dinner, and now it is about almost six o'clock. We are back on the creek. I'm actually at the Pickering Creek now, and we're gonna be fishing with some Nature Ripe blueberries. I am just kidding. There's no blueberries in here. It is worms. We're gonna try out the worms. Now, I was here earlier around like 2 p.m., throwing like artificial stuff and I wasn't getting the bite I wanted. So now that the sun is not as high in the sky, hopefully these trout are biting. I do have another spot we can try after this if we can't get the fish we want out of this spot. But we're gonna rig up our worms. I got here my trout set up as I had earlier in the video. Two pound test, a size eight hook and a split shot about almost a foot above that, probably like 10 inches. And we're gonna rig up our worm on here, and just thread it on. And hopefully we can catch some trout. If not, we'll probably hook into the one of 300 white suckers that are in this hole. So enough talking, let's get to fishing. Well guys, we got a fish on. It's not necessarily the trout we were after, but it is a little white sucker. There he is, nasty little feller. Still a cool catch, I don't really catch many. So we'll take a picture of him. To another fish, but once again, it is not the trout we are after. This is a hefty, hefty fall fish right here. That's what you get for using worms to try and target trout in a place that's full with fall fish and white suckers, I guess. Their mouths are very fleshy, so they're sometimes difficult to unhook, but these fish are 
plentiful. Don't really want to spook the fish. That fish just spooked them for me so I don't have to worry about it. He spooked them for me, which is just fantastic. Took a good bit of my worm. I can probably catch one of these bluegill down here though. Might as well up the multi species game while we're at it. And just like that. Caught a rock bass and a smallmouth earlier today. Now we got a white sucker, a smallmouth, or not a smallmouth, a fall fish, and a bluegill. There he is. No, I needed some trout to make this a great day. I was sitting up against the rocks. Now I think that would be our fifth or sixth. I don't even know. I think that's a bluegill pumpkin seed hybrid. And he just choked our worm, so. <sighs> Good luck getting this guy unhooked. Uh, and there was people chucking rocks in the water. And that is not good. That is not what we need. Because I need to be fishing right where they're at. There's actually another person fishing right below them. Which is probably a better idea than what I'm doing. I'm just trying to catch a fish in there. Out here chucking boulders into the creek. I'm not a big fan of that. We need to cut that out ASAP. I'm gonna actually walk down a bit further down to where that other guy is fishing because this is not it over here. To the creek. And there's a couple of gutted brook trout on the bank. So whoever was fishing here didn't clean up after themselves. But that is a good indicator that there is fish somewhere in this creek. Guys. Guys, we got a fish on. We got a fish on. It's a brookie. Oh, out of the current, out of the current. That's what our hands. There we go, guys. Brook trout. First trout of the day. There's a sick fish right there, guys. He's a fat one, too. Oh. Sorry, I couldn't get a good release on that, guys. Um. But he slipped right out of my hand, so those brook trout are pretty darn slippery. Seems like most of them have been float stocked, which means they stock them at one point and they just let the current carry them down. So that is one brook trout on the day. So let's see if we can get some more. That is on the pink trout magnet, by the way. The worms aren't going to work too well in this current, so... I decided to switch to the pink trout magnet and let it drift downstream, giving it a slow, steady retrieve. And that brook trout just came out and hammered it. We'll see if we can get a few more um, if the conditions are right. And then that'll make today an even better day. I only asked for one. I didn't get a great picture of it. But we did, we did catch one. That's all I can ask for, all right? Trout fishing in May, the stockings aren't really announced, especially now with this corona stuff going on because they don't want big crowds gathering like the train of people that is walking behind me for some odd reason. But anyway, one brook trout on the day. Let's see. If we can find some more. I love catching brook trout because that is only the third one I've ever caught. They're cool looking fish. 
Thought that was another one, but I was stuck on a stick. Let's find some deeper water. It is not the brook trout we are after. It is a little smallmouth bass. Oh, then he just unhooked himself. Quick and easy release. The more I walk downstream, the more I'm seeing brookies up on the bank. I don't know if that's because people are just taking the meat and leaving the bodies or or if there's just fish that died from natural causes. They look pretty fresh though. I don't know how far downstream these fish got to, but can't be too, too far. It might be outside the range already, but I don't know that, so I'm just gonna keep fishing for a while. Sun sets in about an hour. So in 30 minutes, I'll probably start fishing my way back and hopefully be back to the car before it gets a little dark out here. Well guys, we got, oh, never mind, he popped off. That might've been another species for the day that kind of looked like a largemouth. Still on the hunt for these trout. I think I might've walked past the trout waters already, but you never know. We're just gonna keep walking until it's time for us to head back and start fishing backwards. Come here, fishy, fishy. Come here, fishy, fishy. Here, boy. Here. All right, guys, I'm gonna start walking back. I haven't seen any signs of trout, but we're gonna keep fishing and hopefully we can bag a nice one. Guys, I just had a nice follow up on the trout magnet on the way back in. Looked like another trout, but I could be wrong about that. I don't know if we'll get another chance at them or not. But we still got a good ways to fish before we're back at the car, so let's make the most of it here. Let's see if we can get one. Uh-oh. Come on, come off there. Well, looks like I'm doing a bit of walk in this episode. We ended up catching a variety of species today, including that one decent sized stock brook trout there at the end. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, if you did, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. I'll be back to do some more fishing soon enough. Today we got it done on the pink trout magnet. That's what caught us our trout that we worked for so hard today. And we did end up catching a good amount of species on that night crawler over at the Pickering Creek. So good day in my book. Um, I got AP tests for school on Monday. So I'll probably take tomorrow off to study and Monday as well, because I have a test apparently. So won't be fishing those days. And then we got some rain coming up. Hopefully we'll be able to work around the rain and get some more fishing in, but until then, I'll see you on the next episode of The Bill Outdoors.